Now let's take this thing and apply it to the amplifier. This is a demonstration of the amplifier volume being modulated. As you can see, the sine wave modulation is affecting the amplifier's volume slightly. Watch how the knob turns to demonstrate this. With a greater modulation, which a greater variation of voltage, you can see the difference in how the amplifier knob is turning. Now, of course, this doesn't actually turn the knob, but the knob turning demonstrates what effect the modulation is having on the volume of the amplifier, as if someone was turning that knob. Now, we are the envelope. Here, let's go to better sound. That was a slow attack and a slow decay. That's all the envelope is doing is it is a way to get voltage to do what I just did. Which is turn the volume up and turn the volume down. And when I had it plugged into the filter, it was me turning the filter, com the filter cutoff point up and turning it back down. And when I had it controlling the pitch, all I was doing was turning the pitch up and down. Voltage control just acts as a, a means of control that's just like a hand on a knob. And every single voltage control aspect that you come up with, all the different ones I've been showing you, all can be demonstrated with this analog, if you'll excuse that word, a hand on a knob. That's why I call vol uh, voltage control the robot hand. It's just a robot hand that you can tell what to do in a way that you want it. And like the volume here, we can start off with a heart attack and a fade off like that. And that's just the same thing as an envelope setting where the attack is at zero, your full volume right at the start, and then it fades away. That's all voltage control is. And it seems so simple when you think of it that way, but that was the revolution that was started with Bob Moog and Donald Buchla. That's the concept, the, the concept that applying certain amounts of voltage would result in changes in the, this, these components, the oscillator, the filter, or whatever, using voltage as a means to tell a, a component what to do. And that way we don't have to have our hand on the volume knob, our hand on the filter cutoff knob, and our hand on the pitch knob all at one time. With this sort of automation, which is kind of what voltage control is, as much as I hate to say that, it's a, it's a sort of simple electrical automation that allows us to cause changes, changes that we desire over time using voltage as opposed to using our hands. That's all it is. Now I'm gonna take one oscillator and use it as an LFO or low frequency oscillator to modulate a group of other oscillators to create a vibrato effect. I can then use the VCA, the voltage controlled amplifier, to control the amount of vibrato.